Relax on the guitar where you're never too old to learn. We're taking on a great tune today. Great for beginners too. I'm going to show you how to play a little Sitting on the Dock of the Bay by Otis Redding. What a classic. I'm going to show you some open chords. A cool little walk up. And a walk down. If you want to tackle that once you kind of get the strumming down, I'll show you kind of where to begin with the strumming and how to work your way up to a more advanced strum. So let's get going. Let's talk about the chords. We're using all open chords for this version of the song. So it's a more beginner version of this song. And if you'd like a more detailed lesson on the first eight chords you should learn when you're starting to play the guitar, you can check out this lesson here. I'll leave it for you. But we're going to have a G chord. And I play that with four fingers usually. We're going to have a B7 chord, a C, an A, an E, a D, like most of the eight chords you need to learn. And there is an F chord in here, very briefly, we'll talk about that when we get to it. So the song begins on a G, and the intro's kind of strumming a G. I'm going to talk about the first strum pattern you should check out. It's going to be down strums just on the quarter notes. So one, two, three, four. Really simple, really steady. That verse starts on the G, and I'll just kind of call it the chords as they change. Sitting in the morning, B7. I'll be sitting when the evening A. G, the ships roll B7. Then I'll see them roll away at A. And for the purpose of this verse, you're just going to do four down strums on each chord. So G, B7, C, A. The chord progression G, and you just repeat it B7, C, A. If you like this lesson so far, be sure and hit that like button, I would really appreciate it. Now, the second strum pattern we're going to focus on uh, is going to be adding in an up strum. So, we're going to be going from quarter notes to eighth notes, still on that G for the intro. And it adds a little more interest. You can kind of see it starting to build. Now for this chorus, let's stick to that strum pattern. Starts on the G. Sitting on the dock of the bay, watching the tide roll away. Sitting on the dock of the bay, wasting time. So the chord progression there is a G, E, one strum pattern each, G, E, G, then he goes to an A, A, back to G, E. So that is a way you can kind of begin building up to this final strum pattern. Okay, next we're not going to change the strum pattern, but we're going to add what we call an accent on the second and fourth beats. Accent basically means that you're going to play a little bit louder on that beat than the other beats. So you have this. Uh, we were doing just down ups. One and two and three and four and. We're going to stress the second beat and the fourth beat. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. and you get this. Sitting in the morning sun, I'll be sitting when the evening comes. Makes a big difference with that little tweak there. And then for the chorus, sitting on the dock of the bay, watching the tide roll away. Sitting on the dock of the bay, wasting time. Two and three and four and. So stick with that strum pattern, it sounds really nice. 
good for beginners because it's not too far of a reach and you still have these open chords in this song. Okay, for the bridge of the song, we're gonna keep that strum pattern with the accents. But the chords here happen a little faster. They're actually gonna share that strum pattern. I'll show you what I mean. Uh, the bridge is this. So those chords are a lot of the same ones we know. It goes from a G to a D to a C to a G. G, D, C, G. But we're sharing the strum pattern. We're still doing one and two and three and four and. But the G gets the one and two and and the D gets the three and four and. So one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. And don't forget to still make those accents. Nothing's gonna change. Everything still remains the same. I can't do what 10 people tell me to do. Then it changes the last line. We are going to have an F chord. I'm going to encourage you to play that as a bar. So I guess I'll remain this D same. So it just goes F to D. If you uh, want to, you can also play that F chord. Uh, not as a bar. You can, instead of barring that first fret, you can play with your index finger here on the second string, um, I'm sorry, second, yeah, second string, first fret. If you're doing that, make sure you're only strumming from the fifth string down. So I would add in these little walk-ups and walk-downs after you have kind of mastered those chords, those chord changes and that strum pattern. We're gonna do a little walk up from the G to the B7. We're going to do a little walk down from the C to the A. So this is the, uh, so the song starts on the G. So I'd still do the, got to have that kind of under your fingers first. This walk down is after you play that G, I would do like the bass note first, sixth string, then down. Then we're going to do a little, it's four notes. You're going to use your middle finger, because that's what you've been using to play that G chord. Middle finger on the 6th string, 3rd fret. Then you're going to do an open 5th string. 5th string, 1st fret. 5th string, 2nd fret. So... Now make sure you fret that 5th string, 2nd fret with your middle finger, because then that puts you in the position to get to that B7 chord. So you have... That's the first part. Then we're gonna go from the C. I would do the same thing. Play the bass note of that C, which is the fifth string. Then down. Then we're gonna walk down to this A. We're gonna do all this on the fifth string. So you're gonna have fifth string with your ring finger on the third fret. Down to the second fret with the middle finger down to the first fret with the index finger, and then an open fifth string, and then play that A. It's so all together, it's... So adding in those walk up and walk downs really puts the icing on the cake for this amazing song. So enjoy that. Be sure and check out this lesson. I've got three more great songs to play if you're a beginner guitarist, so check that out. In the meantime, remember you're never too old to learn, and I'll see you guys for the next lesson. Mm -hmm.